Valley Police tell me 25 year old Brock Redding passed away. Redding was recovered with the SUV he was driving. The investigation took over three hours to locate the vehicle in the Valley Lake where it crashed. As the evening turns to night, light slips away from the sun to this artificial setup erected by emergency responders as they pull an SUV from the bottom of a Valley Lake. Judging that he went th through the grass, there's a ditch, uh, a 14 inch irrigation pipe. The, the fence laid on the irrigation pipe was used as a ramp, which projected him into the, into the water. It's at the T intersection here where investigators tell us the silver GMC Arcadia driven by 25 year old Brock Redding blew through this chain link fence and landed in the water. Initially, first responders found the front bumper floating nearby. He was 40, 45 yards out and he was 20, the vehicle was 25 feet deep resting on a ledge. And if, if he went and went over the ledge, the water depth that goes to 80 feet. Valley Police Chief Brett Smith tells us multiple agencies worked together to locate the vehicle under the water. Redding was found with the SUV. Dispatch was able to give us one central channel, so we were able to communicate between the UTAN Fire Department, the Valley Fire Department, the Omaha Dive Team. Uh, Able One came out to give us a flyover to see if they could locate a vehicle in the water. Hours later, it's pulled from the water, reading the sole occupant. Now the investigation turns to why and what led up to this fatal accident. Now we checked with online court records. It appears that Redding was just released on bond from jail yesterday. That case had a sentencing date in December. Matt. All right, Chase Moffat reporting in the studio for us tonight. Thanks so much. Meanwhile, Valley Police tell us an autopsy is scheduled for tomorrow morning to determine the exact cause for Redding's death. Stay with WOWT 6 News for continuing updates to this story.